In 1981, Williams were the undisputed kings of ground effect. Thanks to effective use of side skirts and a stiffened chassis that generated enormous downforce. But the emergence of hugely powerful turbo engines meant Williams' dominance was in danger. The team had a deficit of 180 horsepower to find. They needed to reduce drag and improve their car's aero. In the early 1980s, a major source of drag was F1's huge rear tires. Williams had an idea. What if they replaced them with something less disruptive? What if they ditched four wheels and had six instead? The result was the extraordinary Williams FW7D. The car featured two standard wheels at the front and another four at the rear, with the rear set driven by a complex transmission system. Combined with the team's sophisticated aero, simulations suggested massive drag reduction and huge speed. Thrilled, the team flew driver Alan Jones back from his win at the 1981 Las Vegas Grand Prix to test the radical new car at Donington. The results were spectacular, and a second car, the FW08B, was built for the 1982 season. But before an all-out multi-wheel war could commence, the FIA stepped in. With four-wheel drive already forbidden, cars of more than four wheels were also properly banned. But it lives on. Meticulously restored by Williams Heritage, the FW08B can still be seen at special events, spinning all six wheels and bringing back a wilder, less regulated time when anything was possible.